Hi, welcome back to the channel and uh, we are discussing about the primary cementing calculations. What kind of calculations are needed for primary cementing job? As we said earlier that for in order to have a very successful primary cementing job, the calculations play a very important role. We must perform all those corrections uh, perfectly and so that we can prevent any mistakes during the design stage. So first we look like what kind of primary cementing uh, the calculations are needed here. First let's look at the diagram uh, of the simple diagram here. Let's take example of this diagram. Okay. For example now you have a you want to do the cementing from this zone to this zone from here till here. Okay. Now the first question you can ask me here how much is the volume of cement required from here to here? This is the question. Secondly, what kind of class of cement you are going to use here? This is the second question. Third question is how much is the cost of it? Okay, how much is the cost of it? Fourth one is the um, uh, is there any chance of any other problems? What if scenarios? What if there is a very you know unconsolidated formation and you uh, there is a chance that you lose cement inside the formation so you have to create your what if scenarios so when we talk about the the calculations what we are looking at is the amount of cement slurry volume how much volume you need and in order to create those slurry volumes how much is the amount of dry cement you need and how much is the amount of water you need and then as i said what is the the cost associated with it and what kind of well you are dealing with is it vertical is it horizontal so it all depends what kind of equipment you are using and that definitely affects the cost and amount of cementing job and what kind of pressures you are dealing with high pressure low pressure moderate pressure and if there's the unconsolidated formation or any other situation so how you are going to handle that one so so that's one the first one the calculation we need is the volume of cement needed to fill the required footage for example now you want to cement from this part to this part as you see here so how much is the cement volume you need here okay now in order to create this slurry as i discussed in the previous video that slurry is the the combination of dry cement plus the water so how much sex of dry cement you want cement 50 kg sex of dry cement you want and how much exactly the water you read so these are the calculations if you have a problem in those calculations and you do not perform them properly you may end up with a poor semantic job which create disasters for the company so you have to be very careful when you go for slurry calculations and then you need to also calculate how much is the spacer fluid that we just discussed earlier uh, how much is the amount you need for that one and what is the composition and qualities and density and viscosity you are going to keep it in there what kind of circulating pressures you are going to keep it so high low medium you don't want that much pressure that it may go and fracture the side formation or you do not want a low pressure so that any gas channel or something you know comes out to the surface so you have to make sure that your circulating pressure is you know and accordingly according to to what is the wells requirement and uh, how much pressure you need to you know land the plug you don't want to to, to break or that rubber plug you want that much pressure it should go and settle there and do not break so you have to be make sure that pressure whatever you are uh, you know injecting inside so you need to be very careful in that and how much is the hook load when you are injecting the cement definitely you know it's going to increase the hook the weight of this casing and inside the well for now till it settled down so also you need to calculate all of those calculations so all these calculations are important and i will putting the reference down you can go at my uh, website where you can found find those answers of those one then other uh, questions that you can see in the video we saw that we need a cement and we need a spacer and we need a displaced volume so how much volumes are needed here in this case so we need to calculate all of those run and for that we have the data we have the outside diameter we have inside diameter we have all those properties given here mentioned here you must know which casing you are you know uh, cementing casing size this is the inside diameter uh, so this is the another casing size so you need to put all this information in order to perform the salary calculation and so on 
and also you need to perform this yield calculation how much is the water required for example you have a class G cement you are using it along with the silica A you must determine how many gallons of water are needed per sec and how much is the yield of slurry you will get out of that that whatever you are making the cement so these calculations are very important without these calculations your cement job will be very poor so you have to be very perfect in those calculations and answers of those uh, calculations are putting on the in the link given in below so you can download those if uh, those uh, calculations for the cementing job and uh, now in the next lecture I'll talk about the additives why the additives are important and how we can uh, use additives in a proper way to design a better uh, cementing job thank you please uh, like my channel uh, support this channel so I can have substantial views and so I can keep posting more informative videos about oil and gas industry thank you